Top 10 Data Center Co-Location Challenges Faced by CEOs. Courtesy of SB Home Run's Guide to Lead Generation Best Practices for Co-Location Data Centers. While the data center co-location industry is forecasted to grow from a $25 billion global market, 451 Research, to a $50 billion global market within four years, markets and markets, CEOs of data center co-location firms face some pretty rough challenges. In this post, we'll outline 10 of the biggest hurdles. 1. Capital Market Conditions Since the co-location business model is so real estate centric, it should come as no surprise that it's a very capital intensive business. While an IT security company, for example, may have to pay much higher salaries to build its team, there are relatively few sectors of the IT industry that have such high barriers to entry as co-location data centers. So colo CEOs must stay abreast of capital market conditions as part of their non-stop need to attract capital, including venture capital from real estate investment trusts, REITs, bankers, and investors. 2. Changing nature of the data center. Whether we're talking about increasing density, shrinking data footprint, or shrinking hardware size, it's clear the change is in the air for colo data centers. 3. Climate change. No matter where a CEO stands on the politics of climate change, for a business model that consumes so much water and energy, leaders of co-location firms must be able to discuss climate change with a variety of stakeholders in a variety of contexts. 4. Competition Management consultants would argue that a business with competition is a healthy business, or the converse, a business without competition may lack a market. Either way, it is safe to say most co-location CEOs have to contend with competition on a variety of fronts, especially from cloud service providers, CSPs, wholesale providers, and managed service providers, MSPs. 5. Expansion Most CEOs seem to always be in some state of expansion or space planning, whether it's building out more space, adding another building on a current property, seeking funding for expansion, or scouting for new locations. In the data center industry, it almost seems like CEOs that are failing to expand are on borrowed time or just waiting to be acquisition targets. 6. Federal and state regulations. Whether you're discussing data center energy efficiency legislation, federal data center consolidation, or the outrage among environmental activists over the water usage at the Utah data center, co-location CEOs need to be prepared to juggle various federal and state regulations that impact data centers at the facility level. 7. Market over supply. As density increases and hardware shrinks in size, some speakers at regional data center industry conferences have debated whether specific regions have market oversupply issues to contend with. 8. Security. As the world faces increased instability, CEOs of colo firms need to keep a watchful eye on staying proactive on the security front. Granted, colo CEOs are rarely the security gurus themselves and instead rely on teams anchored by direct reports such as chief technology officers or CTOs. 9. Site selection locations. Because building a data center co-location facility is so capital intensive and involves so many different interrelated issues, many introduced in this post, selecting the right location can make or break the future of a company and the CEO's career. While bandwidth today in many respects can make the location less important to the end user client, location selection can still have major implications for taxes, energy consumption, business continuity, labor costs, and the ability to satisfy client requirements. Number 10. Colo CEOs that struggle to keep ahead of the changing standards. Standards often find the content and the peer networking at industry conferences such as 7x24 Exchange, 
data center dynamics, data center boom, data center forms, data center summits, and data center world quite valuable for staying on top of standards. In this post, we've outlined 10 major challenges faced by CEOs of data center co-location firms. As the CEO of a colo firm or someone who reports to one, which of these 10 areas are most challenging to you? And is there an 11th or 12th challenge that's been overlooked on this list? Let us know in the comments. You can download a copy of this guide while it's still available at datacenterleadgen.com. Thanks so much for stopping by and tuning in today to learn all about Top 10 Data Center Co-Location Challenges Faced by CEOs.